Good morning. Welcome to another Relax and Paint. And this morning we are going to do some big luscious flowers. Going to put a little twist to it. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And there's lots more to learn with One Stroke Painting. So you are one stroke away from becoming an artist. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is share with you that we're using multi-surface paint. And this is folk art multi-surface. And it's it works on indoors, outdoors, has a sealer inside of it. It's a wonderful, thick and creamy for one stroke painting. And we're going to use floating medium a lot. Now, this floating medium is going to help you blend, shade, and highlight at one time together. All right. So I'm going to flip the camera down and we're going to get started. Okay. So I'm going to use a foam plate. This is Bristol board. It's a smooth, heavier paper. And then I'm going to put the floating medium down. This is Pink Melon Violet Pansy and Wicker White for most of the flowers. Then we have Citrus and Sap Green. And so I'm going to take and tap this on my hand. And it's going to flatten out the paint a little bit so that we can get to all these edges as we're picking up paint. All right. So these are my Folk Art One Stroke Brushes. OneStroke.com is my website. And on that website, you can uh, pick up all the supplies that I'm using, okay? So now what I want to share with you is I'm going to, first of all, draw with a pencil the flower that I want to make happen here. So if I come out here with loose petals, all right, this is the main flower. I'm going to have some loose petals in here, okay? See, we can put a few extra in here, all right? And then underneath, I wanted to do another one that's got some of that purple in it. So maybe we'll take this one off. Okay, so just, you can copy any kind of flower that you see that you wanna print and do the same technique, guys, okay? So it's just kind of fun and easy with the pencil. That's how they do a lot with the watercolor. And I want to get this kind of look uh, so that you'll see it's just kind of fun. All right. So then I can add leaves and other petals on the outside. This is the center right in here. And there's going to be another petal that comes up in here. All right. So there we go. Now, right in here, let's do this center. All right, it's about the size of the bottle, okay? And that will help you. Now, look at this. It's five fingers wide. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit better so you can see the drawing. Okay, and this flower itself is five fingers. And this one's over here underneath a little bit. All right. So what's going to happen is I dampen this, I laid it on the paper towel, and the first thing I want to do is going to pick up some medium, and we're going to get wicker white and pink melon, and we're going to come right here and just work this in. Okay, see how I'm working it till it fills up the brush, and then we're going to keep getting some of this white here. Now, the key is we need to get dip into that medium. All right, so I'm going to come in here. It doesn't matter if it gets into the green because the green is going to be a nice center that's going to cover all these colors. Okay, do you see how I tapped that a little bit? All right, I'm going to tip this a little bit to get some of the glare out of here. There we go. All right. Okay, I am going to lift this up a little bit so it doesn't glare. So let's see how this works. That's a little bit better. There we go. All right. So let's put this over here so you can see it. There we go. That's better. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. All right. So. I can add a little bit under here. 
and then pick up a little bit more white each time. Come in here and pushing it down. Then I'm gonna come on the outside. All right. And then just kind of work this in here. And we don't need the petals to be exactly perfect. See, I got more floating medium. So if it's got a little bit of movement to it, that's fine. See how I'm coming all the way around and then pull down. See right here. I'm not trying to make them perfect. So I can just spread it out a little bit. See the choppy look? I usually do it smooth. I just kind of want to get this different look. I'm going to come down here, pick up more paint, pink melon. It's kind of pretty, huh? All right, a little bit more, pick up more white. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit in here. And let's pick up some more white. Okay, now all these strokes and petals I'm teaching you here are on Fridays on the practice strokes. And you can go see them at any time and they help you to be able to do the strokes I'm sharing with you and how to hold the brush and how to do all that, okay? All right, so I'm gonna come around and just pull some white in here. A little bit of white from the edges. See that, just a little bit more. I'm going to pick it up and pull strokes down. See how picking up a little bit there. Pull the white down, down. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do in here, I am going to put, a, picked up a little bit of citrus. And I'm going to brush a little bit of that in there. Let's bring that white back down there. We can even put a little bit in here. So I kind of did a triangle of color a little bit. All right. <clears throat> so let's pick up some more medium. And this time I want to do a whole bunch of medium. A whole bunch of medium. I just keep picking it up and working it in. Because I want to have some really light color in here in the background. All right, so I want it to be kind of transparent. Can you see that? I'm going to pick it up a little bit more. And then we're going to come right here along those petals. See how I take that along the petals? And then I'm going to come out here. I can pick up a little bit of white. A little teeny bit of that citrus in there. There we go. See that? Isn't that kind of fun? Bring that in here a little bit. So these are just supposed to be kind of yummy in the background. All right. Lots of medium. Okay, a little bit more out here. All right, a little bit out here. Lots of, bring this around here, lots of white out here. Let's get some white. So, so this white petal comes out there really nice. I'm going to come in here, a little bit more white. We're going to put some of the purple in here too. So the violet pansy. There you go. Kind of dreamy. And I want this to really stand out. So literally, I can come back in here and do a couple of these little white petals so that they, the underneath it and take over. There we go. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> that kind of fun. So it's easy. It's just uh, you got to play around with it till you get the look that you want. All right. So I'm coming in here because we're going to put that green in the middle. Okay. So I'm not going to even wash this. I'm going to pick up white and go right over here and work in really good the violet pansy back and forth back and forth thank you for watching and subscribing and uh, please check out my patreon channel it's mark and donna dewberry and we have a membership right here on youtube that gives you far more than what we're giving you here all right i know this is free but it's kind of nice for you to see what else is available if you become a member the membership is one stroke advantage. It gives you all kinds of advantages. Um, if you want to learn how to paint and become an instructor or all kinds of other things that I have out there for you. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a little more medium. Okay, so okay, lots of white, a little bit of pink, the pink in here. Okay, with those yummy colors. I'm going to come with a little bit of citrus, a little bit of citrus green in that petal. See, I'm trying to be loose, loose. It's hard. Loosey goosey. See, I'm just loosely. I'm not trying to make it perfect. And some people have a little bit of a difficulty just being so free. Okay. There we go. All right. So then I came around with a whole bunch of medium now, right here, a whole bunch. All right, and then I'm gonna come in here. All right, so see, I put some of the, these pretty colors out here. A little bit more out here, picking up some white. I'm gonna bring that purple violet pansy along there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna come in with some white and citrus. I didn't clean the brush. You notice all that I did as I went around, I never cleaned it. So. We can right in here. I'm going for this watercolor effect. Okay. Okay, this is just real loose. I hope you guys are having a little bit of fun with this. It's a little different than normal. I'm going to be real loose. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take, and let's use our medium scruffy. This is a, I've got a, we have them in the dark green handles too. This is just a specialty brush I had once. This is a medium scruffy. I have a quarter and a three quarter. Okay, and we're going to come right in here.
people say, well, flower is this Donna. I just made it up, just a bunch of pretty petals. It might look like a flower that you like, or it might just be the flower with petals. Okay, so what I want to show you that happens next is that I'm going to go around with a script liner. So, so a two script liner, guys, all right? Now, the first thing I did was I want to make it inky with water, not with floating medium. So this is a two script liner. This is my value pack green handle brushes. Now, what we want to do is we want to come all around here. All right, so this is really loose in here. These are little stamens like that are coming out from the center. All right. And we did the same thing on here. So we touch and pull all the way around. See, I had a lot of paint on that. So they're really hunky and big looking. So now that I've used some of the paint up, you can see that we can get like a lot of thinner looks. Okay. So this is inky mix down there. I'm pulling. All right, so I like to come around here and just kind of dot this in. Just a little bit, give you some more. Now, this is what happens here. I need you to try to be, be really loose. And you're going to come in here. And kind of make these petals up and down and around. Now I'm picking up heavier, not just inky now. See, I'm going to the thick paint and picking up little bits of it. All right. And we're gonna come in here. So thick paint. Kind of nice just with a liner. And the key with this is we're not trying to make it perfect. I'm just kind of like you're scribbling. Thick paint. You can come in here a little bit. Just be really loose. Okay. Now I can come out here all the way around here and add little bits if you want. But be loose about it because when you're out here being loose, you're gonna get a whole different look. I'm going back to the inky area there. So if you're scribbling, like you're just going like this, That kind of pretty. Now you have to loosen up to do this, all right? So, scribble. Let's get some thicker. Thicker. <laughs> and then a miracle, what that white does for it. All right. So, I can come in here really loosely. And you can also come a little bit out here if you want to. All right. So it's fun when it dries, you can darken up underneath here. I will do that before we print the picture as I will take and darken it. And when we darken it, I just want to show you, we are using a little bit of, let's see, a little bit of floating medium. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of, of the sap and show you. See how I put the floating medium up against the, the leaf. So floating medium and some sap. All right. So, see, 
but I'm going to use purples. Violet pansy up in there, stronger underneath this flower. So be looking for that in the photos, okay? See how that just that little bit of fluted dark. See, so when I say floating, go to practice strokes and look up how to use floating medium or floating something. Okay, you can start with practice strokes from the beginning. It's right here on YouTube. From the beginning of my practice strokes tutorials to now. And you can learn a whole wealth of education, just as if you're coming to a regular class of mine. See how that changed everything? That's just adding the sap green. But what if you were doing the same thing with the pinks and purples? So thank you for being on. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.